Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. In this video, we are going to discuss a law of torts case, particularly a case of negligence and more particularly the falling of a signboard on a passerby. What happens? So normally, the person who suffers injury, of course here the person died, they claim compensation for the negligence on the part of the people who are maintaining the signboard. The signboard people, what they will say? They will say, rest, uh, sorry, they will say, act of God. And we will try to prove it by rest, ipsol, aquita. All these things you know, just for your refreshing the memory. Of course, uh, uh, maybe in the next month or so, or in, by this month and uh, the freshness will come. I have to tell them. So therefore, I am making this video as a part of the law of thoughts, right? Falling of a signboard definitely is a foreseeable event. Plea of act of God not accepted by the Delhi High Court. So, two judges bench of the Delhi High Court, Rajiv Shagdar and Tara Vitastha Gunju. In the case of Messrs. Bank of Baroda versus Mahesh Gupta and others on 9-12-2022 while disposing the two cross appeals held that the falling of the signboard is a clear case of negligence on the part of the people who have to maintain the same actually so if you go to the facts of the case it will be easy for you to actually appreciate the thing behind so here what happened is the Bank of Baroda, they have displaced or they have erected a beautiful signboard in Delhi. Actually, the signboard Bank of Baroda by themselves, they did not do it. They, did, they got it done through an agency called as ACIPL. They have taken up the work, they have prepared the board and they have erected the same. But of course, there is no agreement between Bank of Baroda and the ACIPL to maintain the same. Ultimately, on 22-5-2011, so way back, 11 years back, 22-5-2011, due to heavy gales, due to heavy gales, and when Mr. Mahesh Gupta, who was a broking man, stockbroker like that, he was walking on foot towards his tailor shop, suddenly the signboard collapsed and fell down on him, causing head injury. Then, of course, he has to undergo brain surgery at All India Institute of Medical Sciences. He was shifted to the Gaum Medical Sciences Hospital and uh, where he had to undergo the surgery. And, of course, he was discharged in June 2011. After a month or so, he was discharged, but his misery continued. Even after 35 to 38 days or so, he was discharged. The misery continued because he has to agony. He has written as agony. He has to be referred to the hospital ten times or more. And ultimately, in 2013, he filed a petition in the consumer forum that is uh, uh, for compensation because of the negligence of the bank of Baroda people. I have received the injury. But of course, it was not decided. While the petition is pending, while the case is pending, in 2013, uh, 21 to 2013, he lost his life during the pendency of the proceedings. Of course, you may be knowing, in civil cases or tortious law cases, uh, even though the petitioner dies, his legal heads, they will step into his shoes. So, LRs have been adopted, have been added, and the case is going on. This is one stage. So here, important point is the Bank of Baroda took the defense as act of God because on the particular day, entire Delhi National Capital Territory region witnessed high level velocity winds, high level velocity winds because act of God, injury and death are their only act of God and are not foreseeable. They are not expected. They are not foreseeable. So of course, here. The police acted swiftly. They had registered a case, criminal case against the bank of our manager under section 337 and 338 IPC. Of course, at that time, no death. This man did not die. In 2011, incident happened. By 2013, he died. So, act or uh, rash or negligent act which is uh, uh, dangerous, which causes fatal injury up to 338. Suppose if a person dies, you know 304A IPC will be added. 
Of course, the criminal case has been acquitted way back in 2018 or so, right? Okay. Then, when the matter has come to the High Court, the single judge bench has uh, asked for the evaluation of a medical board or the constitution of a medical board uh, to evaluate the medical bills uh, and the experience uh, and the rest he has taken, all these things. And uh, Bank of Baroda stated that due to act of God, this thing happened. But please remember, the even the so-called uh, single judge relied on the concept of res ipsa laquita means the thing speaks itself the photo speaks itself because a lot of entity all these things they have taken the photo and ultimately it was taken as res ipsa laquita so therefore definitely he has to they have to pay the compensation of 18 lakhs or so but of course it was objected to by the bank of baroda they ultimately filed a an appeal before the division bench. Let us patent you may be knowing. So division bench they have filed the appeal. When the matter came to the division bench, they clearly held that the defendant, that is Bank of Baroda, is held for negligence. Because please remember, basing on the that Reynolds versus Fletcher case, 1832 case. So the thing escaped, the escaped thing is dangerous and non natural use of the land. In that case we have discussed. Likewise the thing or object which is escaping should be of such kind which is potentially dangerous yes definitely when it falls down the thing escaped from the hanging it has come down it is dangerous so please remember actually back up order says uh, the deceased has got a duty of care what care he can escape to two or three feet but when the velocity is there it has fallen on him hurt to him and due to which he died how can he take precautions like that this is another argument by the bank of baroda but the adeli court stated that bank of baroda has got the responsibility or duty of care to periodically inspect and maintain such advertisement both here so actually Bank of Baroda stated that uh, they have given intent or they have given agreement to AGIPL whose duty it is uh, to maintain uh, the so called boards but there is no agreement between the parties. Bank of Baroda could not prove the agreement between them. So now it is the onerous duty of Bank of Baroda to periodically inspect the same but there is no record to say that they have periodically inspected the same. Therefore, already single judge bench has evaluated the money to about uh, 18 lakhs 9,244. So, therefore, since even though it has come in appeal, now the division bench clearly stated that uh, the amount of compensation has to be paid to the so called relatives of the victim. Actually, this order was given on 29-5-2019 by the single judge bench. But these people went to the appeal. You may be knowing they will be depositing 50% of the amount and then only they will be appeal. Anyway, the compensation of 18 lakhs has to be paid to the victims of the family. It's a good solace for them. No doubt we can't bring Mahesh Gupta back. But here the important point is the Delhi High Court held that the bonus of responsibility, the bonus of periodic inspection of the ad board lies on the people who installed the same. No doubt if they have given the uh, same to an agreement, uh, again agreement to any agency, then that agreement should be there. And secondly is act of God denied because you have to be careful. Number three, arrest ipsa locter accepted. So these two are the fundamental concepts for the law of thoughts. Of course, we have said those people who have completed the law of torts, that is second year, third year, they are very much well aware of this. Of course, for the youngsters, for the freshers, I will explain them in total. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.